So wait, you don't like boys anymore? Oh, I get it. You're into girls now. <sighs> so these are just a few of the many questions I've gotten since my last video. I really wanted to make a video really going in depth about the beauty and the complexity that is the new life that I'm living, which is a chaste life. So first of all, many people might ask, what is a chaste life? It all comes down to chastity. Um, I know many of you do not know what that word means, you might not know the definition, so I will gladly share with you guys today. According to the internet, we will not name names because we do not want to be flagged. <laughs> the internet defines chastity as abstaining from extramarital or from all sexual intercourse, oftentimes for religious purposes. So that's a pretty broad, good definition. I guess a more blunt definition could be abstaining or willingly um, withdrawing yourself from any kind of sexual or bodily sin. Why would you do that to yourself? Sex is good. Sex is amazing. Sex is beautiful. Um, sex is from God. You know, sex is not a bad thing in any way, shape, or form. However, it can be taken out of context. The Bible clearly states numerous times throughout that acting on homosexual desires or tendencies is a sin. The physical act of homosexuality is a sin. And therefore, as a genuine, devout Christian, I do not want to willingly participate in anything that will weaken or destroy my relationship with my God. Because, you know, our bodies are so important to us and to Him. You know, there are temples. They guard our souls. They, we're united. Our souls and our bodies are one, you know. And God gave us our bodies and they're such a beautiful tool used for so many beautiful things. I do not want to use my body in any way that would displease Him. Because the more we sin, the further we stray from Him. And I don't want to stray from him. I want to be closer and closer to him, as close as I can get. So for anyone trying to pursue a chaste life, I came up with some personal tips from my own experiences that might or might not help you on your journey. Each individual on their own kind of, you know, learns how to live it healthy and just really carry their cross the way they think is best. But these tips at least are things that have helped me personally through my journey. So tip number one, prayer so so essential to this journey and just to really any journey with Christ you know we want to better our relationship with Jesus right and we want to become better friends with him you know we're doing it for him so what better way than to pray to our Lord talk to him on the daily you know and just give him your cross pray 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 for all my fellow Catholics out there <laughs> I particularly pray the Holy Rosary um, because it is such a powerful weapon against the enemy. You know, Mary was with Christ throughout his life and battled with him throughout his journey of carrying his cross, and she was there every step. What more beautiful of a way than to have her, the mother of God as well, also walk with you. Mary's an awesome gal. <laughs> For all my non-Catholics out there, because I know there are some of you watching, or many of you watching who are not Catholic or do not practice or believe what Catholics believe, which I totally respect. Definitely focusing on the Jesus aspect as well. I do something called Jesus journaling. I have a journal specifically dedicated to writing love letters to Jesus. It's so corny, honestly. It's so cliche. Nobody reads this. It is just between me and God. So... Also, that level of intimacy and that level of privacy is just something beautiful. He is your number one source of strength down this battle. He will carry your cross with you because he carried his cross and he's not going to let you carry yours alone. Tip number two, self-discipline. We live in such a sexual culture and such a lustful society, you know, and it's so important to kind of set boundaries for yourself and set limits because again, temptation is very real and the devil is very, very smart in the ways he works especially through this guy. It's an amazing thing. Technology is a beautiful thing, but it can also be a very dangerous thing um, because it opens you up to just a whole world of temptation and evil unlike anything else, I think. For me personally, I have locks on certain websites and on certain videos and even on YouTube and stuff. 
think it goes with anyone really. Consume what you think is a safe amount. So the third tip and the final tip is accountability. It is so important to surround yourself with people, brothers and sisters in Christ, whether they be battling same-sex attraction or not, just people in community who can really just continue to encourage you and build you up in this battle. Especially when you do build those bonds with people who are battling same-sex attraction along with you, it's so beautiful because you really are connecting with people on such a deep personal spiritual level who understand you and understand your struggles and you just have such an honest, beautiful just friendship in Christ. I'm so thankful to God for all the friends and the brothers and sisters I've made through this journey who are going through similar struggles or the same struggles. Even Christ had community and fellowship around him. Like none of us can are meant or made to be in this battle of life alone. And it is so important as you carry this cross to know you are not alone and to just surround yourself with those people and those voices that will just build you up and keep you going and walking with your cross. I really just want this video to just be a testimony to anyone who is considering living in chastity or pursuing a chaste lifestyle, that there is so much happiness and so much joy in it. Society really paints that picture that, you know, if you're not having sex, you're not happy. And it's such a lie that I honestly believe for so many years. As someone who has personally lived that sexually active lifestyle and is away from it now, I can say I'm so much happier and so much more at peace now abstaining from it than I was pursuing it. I am happy and you can be happy too through the grace of God. I just want to close this video with a Bible verse that can hopefully bring comfort to anyone who may need it. The Bible verse is Luke chapter 9, verse 23, Christ says, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Christ recognizes our struggles and our temptations in our human life, and he validates that whoever lifts those struggles and those temptations and those desires, those ungodly desires up for him, he will be with you every step of the way, and he will not let you down because you are following him, so he will follow you. And how beautiful is that, you know? It's not easy. I'm not going to lie to you. It is not an easy journey. But Christ even said, the path is narrow and few will find it. It's never going to be easy when it comes to genuine faith and following Christ. But with the help of community, prayer, um, and just the grace of God, it's not impossible. It's so possible. I am fully devoted to him. Body, mind, heart, and soul. Body. Body. <laughs> Please like this video if you want. Comment, um, subscribe to my channel. I really feel like God has called me to this channel and to continue making videos, so I do plan to continue this channel, so all the support is appreciated. I pray for all of you who are discerning a chaste life, so I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching. God bless.